Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see what are alerts in SharePoint Online and later on we'll see how we can create an alert in our document library or to a specific file and how we can set up an alert. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can create an alert. Okay friends, so now we are on our lab environment. Let me open the SharePoint Admin Center quickly. Okay, so this is our SharePoint Admin Center. I will click on active sites. So friends, let me tell you that alerts are notification of changes to content on a site that you receive as email messages or text messages to your mobile phone, depending on how your site is configured. So guys, let's open any site. Say for example, I will open the site FlyHub. I will go to this site. I will go to the site contents. Let me open the document library. Okay, so now friends, there are two methods to set up an alert. Like this is my document library. If you want to set up an alert for each and everything inside this document library, because we have under shareable items, we have these files. If I'll go back, if you want to set up the alert for entire document library, you can simply click on this three dots. And you can click on alert me so now you will see under alert me when the item changes we can give the name to our alert title we can enter the title for this alert over here and then because I am a site admin I am the owner of this site I am getting this option for the users my name is added I can add other users who will get the notification on their email so that's how it's work so as of now I will close this and then we have a delivery method so we can specify how you we want our alert to be delivered like as I have selected send me, me alerts by email so this is my email address and I will receive the alert on my this email address then we have a change type so we can specify the type of changes that we want to be alerted to it will only send me an alert when every changes like we will delete modify anything will do it will send me an alert then we have a new items are added if i will add anything to this document library i will get an alert then we have a third option of existing items are modified if inside this library we have few files so if i will modify them if we try to add them i will get an alert and at last we have a last option of items are deleted inside this document library if I'll delete anything I will be notified through an alert then there is an option of send alerts for these changes like we can specify whether to filter alert based on specific criteria and we may also restrict alerts to only include items that shown in a particular view so we can create our own view and according to that we can set up our alert like anything which will change as someone else a change a document like there is a folder and we have a lot of users who those who have permission to the document so we'll get an alert if i'll click on this radio button and if someone will change a document which is created by me you can select this radio button if you want this sort of alert and the last we have someone else changes a document last modified by me so we can select this radio button on that scenario and then at last we have an option of when to send an alerts like someone will make changes and immediately you want to receive the notification then there is a first option we can select this radio button and at last we have a send a daily summary so at the end of a day whatsoever will be changes have been made to the site will get a send a daily summary of all the activities then at last we have a on weekly summary if I'll select this option I can select a day or time when I should receive the alerts so I will leave it as it is and now I will cancel so guys this was the overview of how we can set up an alert but this was for the entire document library so this is my test document library so inside this we don't have much folders and files so if I'll go inside it, I have one important file with the name of finance because if you will set up an alert for entire document library, your mailbox will be flooded with lot of notifications. So it's recommended to apply the alert on a specific file. Say for example, I want to 
apply alert on this file i will simply select the radio button which is in the front of that file i will click on the three dots and here i will click on alert me so now inside this you will see we have all those things which we have seen on the document library alert okay so for this i will set up an alert delivery method will be the email send alert for the changes if anything changes will be happen i will get an alert and when send to alert i will select the radio button of send notification immediately let's click on ok let me refresh the page once so for this document library my alert is set up and we can also manage the alerts like i don't want my alert to be work now because this document doesn't have any appropriate information now and i don't want the alert to be like sent to me so i can simply select the button of alert manage my alerts so here any sort of alert which is created will be listed over here we can simply check the box and we can click on delete selected alerts so that alert will be simply deleted and we we'll no longer will receive any sort of notifications so let me close this and now let's try to change anything on this file and let's see if we get a alert or not let me open this document here i will type anything so i have entered the text rachit is editing and it's now saved let me close it so according to our alert we should get a notification on our mail now let's open our mailbox and let's see if we have received a notification or not so now let me open my outlook to see whether i have received an alert or not so this is my outlook so the first mail which i have received is we have successfully created an alert for finance document okay that's fine and if i'll open my second alert so you can see the finance document has been changed you can see this is the folder name and it has given us an alert that some changes has been made to this document so friends that's how an alert work so before winding up this video let me share the limitations of alert as well so guys this alert feature may encounter issues when combined with other features such as if the username or folders containing a special characters if say for example if we have and sign character it will be accepted by some microsoft apps but it can't be used for alerts then the second we have is alerts views which filter on multi values lookup or calculated columns it will not work for it libraries that require content approval that alert will not work for it the third limitation is it has a limit of 100 immediate alert emails per subscribed email address and per minute across all list and libraries then the last limitation we have as per the microsoft that daily alerts email will include up to 25 activities on a maximum of 50 items per list or library so friends these were some limitations of the alert and you can see how we have set up the alert and how it actually send us an email that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video